Hello, I'm Mark Brown and I have been live tweeting from the conference yesterday and I will be today and for the next day uh, for Beyond the Room. I've been asked to do a kind of brief summary as an educated lay person of the things that I've kind of seen and observed from the conference so far and what's really stuck with me. And I think the first thing that, 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 that really, really struck me across the sessions that I was um, in on the first day was the idea that quality improvement isn't something that exists on paper. Quality improvement isn't something that just happens with, by specialist people doing specialist things. Um, quality improvement is deeply, deeply about spending time with the people that need the quality to be improved. Um, I was in a session where Rachel Elliott said something very interesting about making sure that when we look at quality improvement, <clears throat> we actually look at what it is we're wanting to improve and exactly how that will make things better for the people who are important. And as we work in kind of health and care, the people who are important are the people who need our treatment and who need our care. And if things don't make things better for them, then the question is, why are we actually trying to solve those problems at all? Um, I think another thing that came across for me like really, really strongly was something that was said um, in a session this morning about reducing harm in mental health inpatient settings. And it was a kind of paraphrase of a quote that went along the lines that kindness comes from spending time not turning away from the horrors that other people face in their lives. And that really struck me as well. There seems to me to be something about quality improvement that isn't about just adding extra things to the things that we do. It's very much about seeing the things that don't work, spending time with the things that are difficult and hard and finding ways together to come up with ideas to solve problems that then can be tested. But ultimately, we look at whether those things at the end of the day, when we've done our plan, study, do, act cycle, we look at not whether the intervention was successful on its own terms, but we look at whether it actually affected the things that really are problems and challenges for people. So I think that stuck with me very, very, very strongly. Um, I got to hear a little bit about the use of the arts and the way that coming together in non-traditional, non-hierarchical ways that are safe for people where there's no chance of being judged for failure or being judged for having emotions. Um, those places can be great ways of exploring new ways of thinking about things and new ways of, of doing things. Um, I think across the day, I heard a lot that was in one way or another related to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic and the way in which that had led to effectively a burnout for just about everyone, whether people were, were patients, whether they were family members, whether they were members of staff, whether they were health leaders or care leaders, a sense that a constant state of crisis is not sustainable forever. Um, and the, the, the message I, I strongly picked up is that even when that crisis is there, ev when everyone is, is all people to the pumps, um, it's incredibly important to do two things. And the two things are to make times for each other and our emotions and, and the difficult things that we feel doing the jobs that we do or being in the situations we find ourselves. And the other thing was, was making time and space to actually begin to take action, to remove the things that make it harder either to do our jobs or ultimately harder to be a patient or a person who's being cared for. Um, I think the, the thing that I heard was it's very easy to slip into a maintenance state where we spend all of our time working around and learning to live with the things that ultimately are leading to us feeling worse and um, being less and less effective. So what I've heard is, is being together with people is important. Teams are important. I've heard that, that, that kindness isn't just 
listening when it's easy to listen. Um, kindness is, is listening when it's hard to listen to. Um, taking action, even when things seem terrible and everything is on fire, to remove things that make things work worse is, is hugely important. And, and I kind of also heard that, you know, emotions and feelings and life experiences are as much of a part of health and care as scalpels and hospitals and care plans and any of the other paraphernalia. Ultimately, what I've heard is what we need to be doing is focusing on what's important and how we see what is important really, really shapes the ways in which we take action and the things we decide to do. Um, Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of your day.